We've been around for a very long time, so we're very established in this area. All over the state and hopefully all over the southeast, people know about our restaurant. We provide a good southern family atmosphere for you here at Whisper Newts. Most of our customers eat with us every day. I've been in this business my entire working career. Started busing tables when I was 16, and I majored in hotel restaurant management. When we first started, we had smoking. I probably was a little concerned about whether or not our customers that smoke was going to really be upset about not being able to smoke in the restaurant. But that was only because I didn't realize what good a product we had. The customers are coming back for peach cobbler. They're coming back for the meatloaf. They're coming back for the black eyed peas. And of course, people come just to take pictures of this house. Families can come and bring their kids, and the kids can sit down and enjoy a good meal without being smothered with smoke. As a result of everyone having to go through the same thing at the same time, then it doesn't give anyone any advantage over the other. Everybody's on the same level playing field. When Katrina hit in 05, we were wiped out. Literally, the restaurant that was there was no longer there. In fact, people found pieces of our building miles down the road and miles upriver. Two months later, we reopened in a completely new location. Welcome to the original Oyster House. The majority of our customers are non-smokers. We have seen a lot more people that prefer non-smoking sections. Maybe even if they were smokers, they want to sit in an area where they could be smoke-free. A restaurant really makes money on how often they can turn a table. If you have a smoking section, you don't have anybody that wants to sit there. It's money just left on the table, so to speak. Going smoke free helped our business. It's easier to run the restaurant, easier to see parties, less turnover time, and less cleaning. Cosmos opened up May 23rd, 2006. We had smoking allowed only in the bar area and then the outside deck area. And we were fearful that when the smokers weren't allowed to smoke in there that we just have an empty bar. They didn't like it. But they were, for the most part, understanding. Everybody in our area was having to do the same thing, so it was an easy process to go through. It just opened the whole restaurant up for everyone to experience it. The bar area was off limits to non-smokers for the longest time. It has its own life. It's separate from the, the restaurant. It has a different atmosphere, and they couldn't experience that because they couldn't deal with the smoke. I think people with their concerns with cancer, emphysema, there's a natural movement away from smoking in restaurants. Sales-wise, I don't believe the ordinance has hurt us at all. In fact, we've seen growth every single year since the ordinance took effect, and we continue to see growth in our restaurant. If you're a business owner and you're about to have to deal with an ordinance, try to adapt, grow your customer base, and people will be very happy about it in the long term. If the customers like your restaurant, they're going to come anyway. Don't worry about it. And they'll be willing to put the cigarette down, and your business will continue to prosper. I promise you it will.